Virginia is now the third state in the country to ban no-knock warrants. This comes after the deadly shooting of Breonna Taylor, who was killed by police in Kentucky during an apartment raid. News 3 reporter Nana Santio Bonsu has more from the official signing of the law in Richmond with Taylor's family and what this bill means for citizens and the police. From the streets of Norfolk Say her name. to the state capitol in Richmond. Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor. The call for change was heard and the Breonna Taylor law is here. We're taking a step forward to making sure other families don't suffer the same loss. In March, Brianna Taylor, a health care worker, was fatally shot by Louisville police in her home while a no-knock warrant was being served. We can't have this to continue to happen to African-American women and men. Taylor's two wants from Louisville, Delegate Lasheries Arid and Senator Mamie Locke joined Governor Ralph Northam to sign the legislation they sponsored. In Virginia, judges or magistrates can no longer issue a no-knock warrant. There was a couple of cases uh, years ago where uh, sometimes the officers make a mistake and go to the wrong house and they don't announce and then the residents uh, return fire with the police and it's a bad situation. Richard James spent almost 30 years as an officer and detective with the Norfolk Police Department. He says this new law protects citizens. It also lets a person know who is woken up in a slumber that is not someone breaking into the house. He says it also protects officers as well, but James says it can also be a challenge for police now when they are trying to protect themselves from an actual threat. Make sure they have to take uh, additional steps to make sure that they are safe uh, and it's going to take a little bit more uh, practice and training. Gaylene Knoynton is the political action chair for the state conference NAACP. They've been advocating for police reform. The no-knock warrant was on top of their list. Well, as Senator Locke said, why do we have to wait until someone dies? We be proactive. She says the work doesn't end here. That feels great, but we still have a long road to go. Today, advocates win. In Norfolk, Nana Sancio Bonsu, News 3.